see what is the RT2. RT2 indicated on UG116E2, which is the RT2, and you can see in the screen, uh, actually you have to make the full geography on the long seam, and you do the partial radiography or spot radiography on circumferential joint. Then you can use also the same things, joint efficiency uh, one on a design formula for weld type number one and 0.9 for weld type number two. Uh, almost from joint efficiency point of view are identical with the RT1. What's, what's, the, what, what's the concept about that? You know, it's a bonus. It's a bonus that the codes gives to the manufacturer. So your pressure vessel, assume that you, my pressure, I have a pressure vessel, that my wall thickness is half inch, it's A5, 16, grade 70, and I, uh, it's not a lethal services, there's no toxic services on this pressure vessel, it's a hydrocarbon, and there's no uh, toxic substance on it. And then I can go directly to the spot radiography, right? But I decide to do the full radiography and the code gives me a bonus and says you don't need to go to the full radiography to get the joint efficiency one because everybody likes to, any designer likes to put the joint efficiency one on a design formula. Why? Because they're going to get the, a, uh, a lower wall thickness pressure versus, and it's going to save some money, right? So they say take the radiography for all long seam. We're having one in here, one in the back. Okay, in here, you might not be visible in the video. One in here, and take the long seams in here, and then take some spot in here. This is my bonus. It doesn't say take the full. It says they take some spot in here, and then you can put the joint efficiency one in the design formula. It's just considered as a bonus. And this is happens when it is neither lethal services, and nor your wall thickness and material combination falls on the category of the UCS 57. You voluntarily, the manufacturer voluntarily wanna you know go to the, to this path and make a you know full radiography on long seams and spot on circumferential joint, and the code gives the bonus and allows him to use the joint efficiency one on a design formula and get the oh, pressure vessel with the lower wall thickness. Okay, and then UWA5, now the, what the code indicated for the definition of the RT2, I put in the screen, it says all category A, D, A and D butt weld full RT. So all category A and D. This is not a butt weld. For this certain pressure vessel, this is a full penetration nozzle joints here is a category D joints, but it's not a butt weld. So I don't consider that. Okay, if this was those forged material, then those butt welds need to go to the full radiography. It says category A butt welds. So I have a 1A in here and 1A in here. And if it was the hemispherical head, this would have been A joints. This goes to the full radiography, full radiography, and then UW 11A5B. All category B and C butt weld spot not in the nozzle and communicating chamber and all which inter uh, intersecting with the category A. So category B and C like this one C which is not talking about the nozzle is talking about you know C also flat head to the shell is a category C joint. So this uh, category B joint which intersecting category A this goes to the spot radiography. The one I explained before is, was a very simple, uh, you know, simplified language about the RT2, and this is the code phrases. A little bit might be look complicated, but I explained to you. Just long seam, full, this one spot, and ignore about the communicating chambers or nozzle joints. So you get the bonus and use the joint efficiency one.